question where again we're considering proper sig figs and uh, this one is says specifically for standard deviations always report them to one sig fig uh, and that's what we'll do so uh, but let's see calculate the standard deviation of the following three measurements I have three measurements enter your answer with the correct number of significant figures but do not enter units well this is a tutorial video, so we'll do uh, this a couple ways, I think. So first off, we're going to do um, the long way. And what that looks like is, so first off, we're going to need the average of these three numbers. Actually, let's just write the formula first. So sigma, which is a circle with a hat on top of it, that's our uh, symbol for standard deviation, equals... the square root of the sum over all three of these numbers going from i uh, equals one to n. So one will be the first one, then two, then three, n will equal three, of xi minus x bar squared over n minus one. And I guess it's a little bit of a mistake, but the sigma should really be in the numerator um, although I don't think it mathematically changes it if it's everywhere. All right, now what's this mean? The first, I, uh, x bar is the average. So I'm going to have to get my average. And let's do that first. Oop. I got 1.87 plus 1.02 plus 1.28. I get 4.17. All right x bar is going to equal that divided by 3. I get 1.39 as my average value. Writing this out longhand, uh, I'll put my square root over it in a couple minutes here. So it's going to be 1.87 minus 1.39. That's going to be squared plus my next number minus the average squared, 1.28 minus 1.39 squared. So that's this uh, numerator part. My n value, since I have three, so n equals three values. Three minus one is two. And then take the square root of the whole thing. Let me switch up colors here. So, uh, actually, let's go that color. Uh, 1.87. Yeah, you can see that. Good. 1.87 minus 1.39 is 0.48. Then we square it. 0 0.2304. 1.02 minus 1.39 gives us a negative 0 0.37, but then we square it. And then 1.2, 1.28 minus 1.39. Again, negative, but then we square it. 0 0.0121. We uh, have to add all these numbers up, divide it by 2, and then square root. So I've already got my 0 0.0121 in there plus 0.1369 plus 0.2304. All right, I get, well, I'm going to risk it here. I'm going to do the divide by 2, and then square root. And my square root, I have to hit shift, so shift there. And I get 0 0.4355. which is way too many significant figures because it will only ever have one. And other things about uh, standard deviation should be plus or minus, and it should be have units. So since my units were grams up here, my units are grams there. So that's one way to do it. Let's see if we can show you another way to do it, and hopefully, fingers crossed, they will agree. I'm going to open up Microsoft Excel here. 
put it onto the open a blank workbook and put that on the screen. And of course you can do this with your calculator as well. Uh, there, let's get this on screen. Not There we go. And let's blow it up a little bit. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my three values in 1.87 without units. 1.02 and 1.28. I guess you should be able to see them. There you go. No. Hello, everybody. All right. So then to do the standard deviation, you hit equals, S, T, D, and you can see a whole bunch of functions coming up here. But ours is just S, T, D, E, B. Open a parenthesis. Click and highlight the three values. You can see their positions occur, uh, are placed there. Close the parenthesis. Moment of truth. Ah, good. It worked out. 0 0.4355. The number's the same. Thumbs up. And you still can't put all those digits in. You have to go with just 0 0.4. So that's two ways to do it. Your calculator can also do it. But since you've always got your brain, you can do the long method. And since many times you have the computer, since this is an asynchronous class, you can do it at home. Um, and your calculator, I'm happy to talk to you about that as well.